During the normal course of business, companies introduce various proposals and resolutions that can have a material impact on the company. These proposals can include corporate actions such as dividends, bonus, stock splits, etc. Business expansion plans, the appointment of board members, changes in key personnel managing the company and much much more. Before implementing any of these proposals or resolutions, a company has to present them before its shareholders and get their votes on whether a proposal has to be approved or rejected. As a shareholder of the company, you are entitled to vote on all these important proposals. However, very few retail investors vote. One reason for this is that retail investors are a small part of the Indian markets. As of March 2024, retail shareholdings in NSE listed companies was just 9.5% and they think their vote doesn't matter as they are up against bigger institutions. You might think that in the grand scheme of things, your one vote may not make a difference. However, if retail investors as a whole take action, it can end up making a difference. There's also a lack of awareness among small retail investors that as shareholders of the company where they have invested their hard earned money, they are entitled to vote. So to encourage more retail investors to vote, we've made the voting process much much simpler. You can now vote on the resolution of the companies you have invested in directly from Kite. Whenever there is an event related to the stock in your holdings, you can see an events tag. You can vote on proposals by following these steps on the Kite app. In the holdings of the market watch, tap on the instrument and then on fundamentals. Tap on e-voting on the CDSL page, enter the OTP received on the registered email ID or mobile number and tap on verify. Tap on e-voting and vote accordingly. From KiteWeb, in the Holdings or Market Watch, click on the context menu and then on Fundamentals. Click on e-voting on the CDSL page, enter the OTP received on the registered email ID or phone number and click on Verify. Click on e-voting and vote accordingly. If you have any queries around e-voting, please feel free to leave a comment below and we'll be happy to answer them. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.